Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for April the 5th of 2021, well, it is titled Veil Nebula, Wisps of an Exploded Star. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of the Veil Nebula, not all of it. It's just the part of the remnant of an exploded star. And we're looking at it in great detail, this one small section. And what would have happened about 7000 years ago is that there would have been an extremely bright star in the sky as bright as a crescent moon that would have been visible. So something that could have even been seen during the daytime. And it would have been what we call a supernova. Now a supernova is something that occurs when a star explodes, not just any random star, there are actually two types of supernovae, one which is the exploded ma a massive star that explodes at the end of its life. And the other occurs when a compact remnant of a star that explodes. So neither, either of the, neither of these will ever happen to our sun. So a supernova is not something that will happen to the sun, nor will it happen to any star anywhere near us. However, there are stars in the sky that will eventually explode. And what will happen when they uh, explode is that the outer layers, the layers are expelled out into space. And that's what we're seeing here as part of those expelled out into space. And uh, a mixture of various different colors that we see here as we look at the different emission from various uh, areas. And when we see this, we, what we're learning is how material is expelled back out into the interstellar medium. And in fact, this is where a lot of the elements that make us up come from. So things like uh, objects uh, like Earth, which required iron in our core, silicon in our rocks, carbon, oxygen, uh, nitrogen that make up a lot of the planet, all had those elements had to be formed within stars. And bec because the only elements formed originally in the universe were hydrogen and helium. So we had to be able to get those elements back out into the universe to form newer stars. So things like this that exploded many billions of years ago contained the seed material of everything that we see on Earth today. So the only things that would not have necessarily been part of a supernova would have been things that can contain hydrogen and helium. So in water, which is hydrogen and oxygen, the oxygen would have had to have been formed within a star and then expelled out into space. And this is one of the ways that that happens. So over millions of years, this material will eventually fade into the rest of the interstellar medium, some of it becoming seed material, which will form new stars in the distant future. So that was our picture of the day for April the 5th of 2021. It was titled Veil Nebula Wisps of an Exploded Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Sisters of Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.